Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and in this video we're going to talk about Okay folks, this is the Hot Toys R2-D2 one six scale collectible figure from Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. This is part of one of the nine figures that they've released so far to commemorate the 20th anniversary of Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. And it's R2-D2 and let's face it, it looks fantastic. And I think to be honest, if you're, if you're, if you don't have OCD, you can pick this up and it can pose well with pretty much any type of or 2D2 Star Wars display. Like if you want it, it'll probably fit in with the original trilogy, it'll fit in obviously with the prequels, um, maybe even the sequels or whatever. Because R2D2 doesn't really change too much. Yeah, I know the weathering will be different. Something's very, very clean. Something's very, very weathered. Um, sometimes it has different accessories. Obviously this one has the thrusters and we didn't see that in the original trilogy or whatever, fine. Uh, me personally, I think I have that level of OCD. I think I do actually want, maybe not even OCD is the wrong thing to say, but I still, I, I want to, spend money on an original trilogy or today too so i'm hoping i'm hoping they've done the 40th anniversary return of the jedi um c3po so i'm hoping like everyone that the or 2 d2 in the photos was not this one okay i'm pretty sure it wasn't the original trilogy deluxe version of or 2 d2 that they announced or sorry released a few years ago and i don't think it's this one either i have seen people kind of speculating that um it actually was this one and they just photoshopped a few few bits and pieces and stuff like that and you know that could be the case but i don't think so i think they are going to do an or 2 d2 for return of the jedi i think may 4th will i'm expecting a few drops around may 4th hopefully anyway let's take a look at this so first of all this was a quick turnaround. I just want to find this on Sideshow here. Uh, R2D2 Deluxe 6 scale figure. Mm -hmm. No, that's the Sideshow collectible ones. So, where is it? Um, just bear with me here now. I want to make sure that I have the exact price. That's it there. R2D2 waitlist full. $270. Okay, $270. Comes with a bunch of stuff. So, obviously, based on the likeness of R2D2 from the movie, Attack of the Clones, Episode 2. But we know it doesn't change too much you've got these thrusters here because you know he used those thrusters i think for the first time i believe in uh on screen on episode two in the factor is making the geonosis battle droids this comes with everything but the kitchen sink this does remind me of the deluxe version which is now really starting to creep up in value of in the aftermarket like i said it was a star wars original trilogy deluxe or to do that's the one i prefer to be honest because there's a Force Awakens one that's kind of, you can get it for a reasonable price, but then again, that's sequels. I don't want to collect sequels. Um, I want to have an R2-D2 from the original trilogy, basically. I'm willing to wait and take that risk. Comes with everything. I mean, you got like the, the kind of data port. You've got this little thing, like it's like a hand. You've got like this other, this other data port. These look very similar. Are they multiple data ports? I know this was, he had loads of them. He's got a saw as well like this. Looks like a little kind of a welding thing almost. There's, there's so much different things. Little radar. This bit that pops up, the thrusters. There's like multiple different things here. I mean, it kind of gives basically everything. It even gives a little grappling hook that you can attach onto a C-3PO head, which I do believe comes with this. Lights up as well. Yeah, look, it's now. Look, if, like if you see that now, I gotta be honest. If you put that on a shelf next to, um, I don't know, Snowspeeder Luke or something like that, I I I'd just be looking and going, oh, that's R2D2. I'm not going to be able to tell the difference between this and a sequels or to D2 or a prequels or to D2, but I still want the original trilogy or D2. To be honest, I, I don't know what that is. Um, the only reason that I'd be able to tell the difference if the thrusters were out here and be like, okay, that's clearly the, the prequels one. But I really, really like this. I like just the fact that it's R2 D2. The fact that um, it has a good bit of weathering actually around the kind of feet. I'm calling them feet. I know they have wheels, but like I love the way it's grimy and it's scuffy and. It just looks well weathered up and I like that look. I prefer that to the clean look. It just gives it a bit more character, a bit more realistic look. And I love the fact that they gave the grappling hook with uh, C-3PO's head there. And I presume diehard prequel fans and Attack of the Clone fans will be very appreciative of that as well. So with the thrusters, you have uh, these little light up parts, which obviously are supposed to represent that kind of um, blue flame style of thrust. You can see the kind of, I think all these things light up. You've got the screen two screens on the top of his dome, the circle on top of the dome, the kind of kind of torch looking thing on the dome as well. So there's a lot of light up parts 
I think it makes sounds as well. So these parts, like, look at that. They basically give you everything but the kitchen sink here. Like, this was always going to be a welcome announcement and welcome release. I mean, they did this in C-3PO. Um, and people were looking forward to this, let's be honest. And rightly so. Like, I don't have too much to say about this. It's R2-D2. It looks fantastic. Uh, it's a fan favourite. I'm still holding out hope for that 40th anniversary R2-D2. Like, they've given us a C-3PO and that only increased the chances. I mean, come on, they've given us an R2-D2 and a C-3PO from Attack of Clones. Surely to go out for the 40th anniversary. Now that they've dropped the C-3PO, I'm just fingers crossed that they give us uh, an R2-D2 from Return of the Jedi. And that's the one I'll be picking up. It's a risk, it's a risk. But I'm confident that we're going to see it uh, May 4th or there, thereabouts. So look... That's the end of this video, not one for me, like I said, waiting for the original trilogy or 2D2, hopefully it arrives. This looks great, there's nothing not to like here. That's the end of the video, if you want to support the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Let me know if you're picking this one up or not, you can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. That's it, that's the end of the video, see you in the next one, good luck.